Welcome to Local Rock Talk. This is third rock, very welcome back during the pandemic started two years ago, like I said. My name is Paul, a.k.a. Pauza, host for this show, Local Rock Talk. Please welcome Alex Simpson. What's up, my man? How you guys doing today? You ready to rock? We're ready to rock. Yeah. Yeah. Now let's get to the questions. Oh, yeah. The moment we've all been waiting for. That's right. We're going to do it. That's right. We're going to answer stuff. Okay. What type of music you play? So I generally play like uh, blues rock kind of stuff. Yeah. Old music if you will. Um, uh, the, the band I'm in, uh, Sons Lunaris, we do more like a psychedelic blues rock. Uh, we have like a big old light show that we bring along with us. Not, and that's really the, the big psychedelic part of it. Um, but really, we're really rooted in like blues music and the old school type of stuff there. Um, and by myself, I've got, you know, influences of all, all sorts, you know, uh, funk, jazz, classical, you know, whatever is playing. Uh, for the most part, I'm into it. Uh, but blues, if I have to pick one, it's blues. Yeah, that's what Michael does. Yeah, yeah, he does. It's right in his name, too, isn't it? Yeah. Dutch Boy Blues. That's right. All right. Number two question, are you going to do a tour with band soon? I hope so. <laughs> I really hope so. So uh, we've never actually been on tour, which is uh, it's kind of silly, isn't it? Um, yeah, especially during a pandemic. Uh, well, yeah, for sure. During the pandemic, nobody's touring. Um, but I mean, we've been we've been a band for a while, but we've never actually gone on tour, um, be it for one reason or another. You know, changing lineups or just it's expensive. You know, going on tour, yeah. you have to take time off work and all that. But I hope soon. We've got uh, some stuff in the works. Hopefully we'll be able to put that out soon and then just uh, start hitting up some places that are outside of New England. Yep. Yeah. As long as pandemic ends too, so keep doing it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this has been going on for... Uh, Over two years now. Quite a while. Yeah. Yeah. It's changed everything. So much has gone away. Yeah, now... Right? Kobe, go away. That's what I want. <laughs> rain rain go away <laughs> except it's covid and do not come back another day absolutely not <laughs> that's right we do don't not need it. we've had enough of it yep Dude, we flattened the curve for quite a while now oh yeah okay three are you gonna be making albums yes absolutely so uh, the band, we're in the process of uh, recording our first album, which will be out soon. Soon. And uh, I can't put a date on it yet because, you know, we're still tracking some things here. So it's, it's not quite finished, but we've got a good eight to ten songs, maybe 12. We'll see how things go. But uh, it's been a while. It's been a while in the making. We started, I'd say, way back in like 2018 wow. <laughs> or something like that. And it's just been like one thing or another. Um, you know, back when we started, we didn't know nearly as much as we do now about um, really what is expected in the process of making an album, you know? Yeah. Um, and... You know, we get stuff recorded, and then it takes us a while to, you know, get what we need to be able to go to the next place and record there. Um, 
but eventually we got a few things together and then uh we had like a really good stroke of good luck in uh, that we got a producer who is helping us out uh which is awesome um and it changed up our plan though so like we we initially had a plan of putting out you know like here's a single and here we'll do like a kickstarter and fund the album but that all went out the window once we got a producer because he's going to help us like you know now we don't have to do the kickstarter and we don't have to like um just put out one song and then hope for the best we can actually put out like a full album with him all at once which is what we initially yeah. wanted to do in the first place which is great um but yeah so we haven't put anything out because we're working on putting out an even better product which is going to be great and i'm excited for it and it's going to be coming out hopefully soon awesome so keep updated with him look his band yeah sons lunaris look us up on facebook look us up on Instagram, and all that social media business. It's yeah. a good good thing. Oh, and you can Google search them, too. Yeah, Google search us. We come up. <laughs> all right. That's good to know. All right, number four is going to be, when did you start playing guitar? Ooh. <laughs> oh, man. That's a question that makes me think about my life. <laughs> I have to. Ooh. What the heck? Where'd that came from? I think that fell off one of the lights there. Uh oh. Oh boy. Well, anyway, <laughs> that's a question that makes me think about my life, isn't it? Um, it's been a while. I I want to say I started playing guitar specifically when I was like 13 something like that yeah. so I've been playing piano for much longer than that uh, I started piano six maybe maybe a little earlier I don't quite remember but I do remember um, I was around 13 or so when I just picked up a guitar snuck into my brother's room in the middle of the night and uh, stole the guitar uh, I was just like a random bout of insomnia. I was like, I'm bored. I'm up. I can't go to sleep. I'm going to go uh, learn how to do this, I guess. So yeah. I, I went and snagged it and uh, tried learning from a book. But back then, I didn't know what tuning was. So oh. I was uh, making it up. And it wasn't until the next morning that I actually got to tune the thing. And then um, it just clicked with me. I just liked uh, playing. Um, piano, I think, was a great start because, you know, you have all the, the notes mapped out right in front of you. So oh, yeah. if, if you're going to pick up another instrument, having that background on piano is great because, like, you understand chords and uh, scales and all that, and then you just go over to another instrument and you can pick it up, I think, a much easier than you would not knowing piano. Um, but I was learning like jazz and classical stuff that wasn't really sticking with me, especially at that age. Um, but then I picked up a guitar and it clicked and I've been playing it since I went to college as a guitar student and, uh, I'm still, still doing it. It's wow. been, Ooh, it's been a while. It's been 14 years since wow that's yeah. a lot of time it is a lot of time i, I like to think i've gotten okay <laughs> <laughs> all right all right this question i know you know okay i'm ready and plus you know he's been on it in february all right how did you know michael Dutch? uh I know Dutch from just the the local scene in general. Um, he's a fan of the blues music. I'm a fan of the blues music. You know, people yeah. just kind of gravitate uh, to the people that are into the same things. You know. Yeah. Um, and yeah, right now he's uh, 
He's my landlord. Shout out to Dutch for giving me a place to live. <laughs> you rock, dude. Rock on, Thank Mike. you. Michael, I mean. <laughs> rock and roll, man. He's Dutch boy blues, and he's killing the blues. And, and yeah, I, you know, I just started seeing him at gigs and stuff like that. And it's, um, you know, he also is a fan of a bunch of bands in the local scene as well that we play gigs with and all that. So, you know, you cool. be in the scene long enough, you start to get to know the people that are uh, hanging around. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, he's awesome. Rock he and roll, is. Dutch. Rock and roll. And once again, Michael, thanks for coming on in February. Yeah, dude. You killed it. I watched it. It was a great show. Oh, thank you. Yeah. All right. Now, this question, it has not to do with you and stuff like that. It has something to do with that bad boy. Oh, yeah. So are you ready for this one? I'm ready. Tell me about this bad Larry. All right. What you think of my local rock talk display bike for the show i think it is wonderful i mean look at this thing it's got skulls yeah i, I love skulls man <laughs> i got one right here on my ring oh it, cool if you were to also see like the way i decorate my bedroom and and all that it's skulls everywhere i don't know i got a thing from so i i dig it it's got one two we got a palm tree here with skulls as coconuts. That's rock and roll. Yep. We got this groovy skull. It's just rock and roll, man. Look at this thing. Yep. The amp got melted on there, everything. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this thing is ready to rock, and then it's ready to roll. We got the wheels here. You got the rock and the roll. Yeah, so I think it's not rideable. It rocks. It rolls. Still rock and roll, though. Exactly. I love it. But so anything, that guitar is fine. So I took the other one out. But oh, yeah. let's go back after that. So. Okay. Here is the video of reveal of local rock talk bike display. Roll it. Hey, we're here. We're here today because Paul reached out to us about his bike and he's, he's done a, so many miles on that bike and gave to, so much back to the community that we wanted to give back to him. So when he reached out to us, said, would you do something with that bike? And I said, yes. And of course the guys behind me were a big part of this, putting this build together, painting the bike, taking it apart. And uh, you want to say anything about how you reached out to me? Yeah, I left the post on the Facebook. I said, I said, I wish that I could have a local rock talk bike for my show. The next thing you know, I they rock and talk to me. Yeah, yeah. And uh, you know, it's it's an amazing it was a great project. It was a really good project. A lot of a lot of people came together, the guys came together and uh, you know, you'll see the bike and uh, you know, I, I don't want to talk much until you see it, but uh, it's a really cool bike and we get to, after we're done revealing we can talk a little bit about that bike. Ready, ready? You ready for your bike? Yep. All right, here it is. Whoa! There's your bike. Holy crap. Woo! Awesome. Woo! You know, you, you wanted a rock out bike? There's your rock out bike. Guitar and all, you know? Wow, I like that. The, the custom, the custom box, box is all custom on it, you know? Oh, And uh, the guitar actually works. It's a real guitar and all of that. Well, anyways, that's a cool bike. I love it, and it's rock go on. <laughs> okay, that was awesome video. Oh, it was great. All right, last question, Ooh. number seven. What songs do you have on your mind that you are going to play? Ooh, that is an excellent question because I am very improvised in everything I do, whether it's my solos or it's the set lists. Uh, I'm going to probably play a couple originals and a couple covers. And... Uh, 
see how it goes. There's one one version of a song called uh, Rip My Leg Off and Bury Me in the River, which is crazy. Um, it sounds absolutely, the way I'm going to play it, sounds absolutely nothing like the studio way we've been working on it. Um, but that's definitely one that I'll be playing. Another original is called uh, Get Too Far. And I'll probably do some covers. I'll, I'll see how the mood strikes me on that one. All right. Well, there you have it. Alex Simpson. Yeah, Rock I'll and roll. roll. Support him in his band. Please. <laughs> now you can play your songs. Thanks for watching Local Rock Talk. And please be safe out there with this COVID-19 during pandemic. Wash your hands. Stay away from others. Like large crowds, stuff like that. Anyways, see you next time on Local Rock Talk, which is May 18th. Welcome. My name is Alex Simpson. I'm from the band Sons Lunaris. I've got some songs for you guys. This one is an original tune that we do called Get Too Far.
This next one is a little ditty called Rip My Leg Off and Bury Me in the River. And if you're familiar with our live set, you will know that this sounds absolutely nothing like the way we do it. It's more swampy, I would say. Got a few covers I can do for you as well. This one's a fun one that we like to do. It's called uh, The City. Back 
to those streets. Slept in the open Down by the river side Yes, last night I slept in the open the city it's also a little bit of santana thrown in to uh keep it interesting uh let's see let's see i've got more blues tunes fans of blues out there uh this one's uh this one's called backdoor blues
the front door in But I had to take the back door out I took the front door in But I had to take the back door out Sleeping mighty peaceful When I heard somebody shout You know I grabbed my clothes Didn't even take the time to get dressed Close people, you know, I didn't even take the time to get dressed. You know, I ran so fast, I didn't even, didn't even take the time to stop and rest. some time for some more got a few few other tunes I can do but they are instrumental one more all right let me take a look at that list real quick if you don't mind All right, uh, 
We could do Stevie Wonder. Uh, purely acoustic. So it's a it's a little uh, fun one. Thank you. Rock and roll. Thanks for watching Local Rock Talk with your host, Paul Zagreli. Until next time, Keep on.